It's fundraising day here on WMNF Tampa 88.5. My name is Liz. Um, I will largely be the one who's pitching for asking for singing for our supper. There you go. Um, And um, for 45 years, WMNF has empowered you to vote, choose, protest, and party. We're your long standing source for informed citizenship and local activism. As we celebrate our 45th birthday milestone, we renew our commitment to being your partner in democracy for the decades to come. Support community engagement with a gift to WMNF today. Call 813-239-9663 or go to WMNF.org. Now, For those of you who aren't familiar with Surly Voices, welcome. It's a great time for you to start listening because we've got sample clips of uh, some recent shows to give you a little taste of what our show is about. Um, Surly Voices um, is comprised of volunteers from the community um, who are intersectional feminists. Um, The the main cast is me, um, Liz. My uh, co-host Donna, my co-host Amina, and our new uh, part-time co-host, Dr. Maria Cole. And so between the four of us, we've got all kinds of different um, professions and different um, experiences to bring to the show. Um, Joining me right now in the studio is our own Sean Canan. How are you, Sean? I'm doing great. It's it's always a question for me which which slider goes up. The next one. <laughs> they're all on. There you yeah, go. They're all on. Okay. Well, thanks so much for joining me, and um, I'm really happy to be on Surly Voices today and to ask our Surly audience to support this great show. It's a lot of fun. Uh, we we hear it every. Uh, at, at 10 o'clock every Thursday morning and it's so much fun. People get involved and they, they really like to get on the phone and, and argue or agree or whatever and uh, you guys just uh, have such a great rapport with the audience and it's, it's a lot of fun for the audience and I hope that you can support a show like Surly Voices with your donation and here's how you can do that. You can call 813-239-9663. You can also donate on WMNF.org and when you're on WMNF.org you can see all the great thank you gifts that we have to offer you can make a donation on the WMNF Community Radio app as well. And speaking of donations, I want to thank some people who donated right at the end of Democracy Now! when we were speaking with Amy Goodman. Thanks to Anonymous for a $150 donation. Appreciate that. Also, Barbara Tepke from Tampa has contributed $105. And Marie Ann from Seminole is donating $50. And she says, I love everything about the station. It's a treasure. So thanks to those donations that came in during Democracy Now! We want to hear some that there are some donations that come in to support Surly Voices being on the air in the Tampa Bay area. Are you Surly? Would you like to be, what? what's the term you had, the uh, parallelogram of... Uh, Pal- parallelogram of enemies. Yeah, yeah that one of our, it. One of our listeners uh, came up with that one. Um, yeah, and, and our show is not like a lot of shows. It's not scripted, so anything can happen, um, and often does. And um, the four of us are, like I said, uh, members of the community who really, this is this is... Just such an honor and a privilege to have this platform. And so we are 
very ex- we're so excited about doing this show that we all appeared on the July 4th episode mm-hmm. um and I've got a little clip of that hold on I'm yeah it's We'll have it no more. And so <laughs> that's what happened on that day. Now, Dred Scott can tell you, you know, Dred, Dred Scott's ghost can tell you that black people were not included in that independence. He challenged that in St. Louis in the old courthouse down in St. Louis. I was just there uh, visiting the arch and they said, no, no play buddy uh you get back over there right (laughs) you keep doing what you were doing is making us rich so that we can tell future generations of black people that they're just complainers that was the voice of my co-host donna donna is a political consultant and so she often travels which was why she was in st louis on that day um and so We enjoy doing the show. We love talking to um, folks who both agree and disagree with us. And and we often um, get into little scraps. We have been called by one listener the most disrespectful show he has heard in 20 plus years on WMNF. And so we we wear that like a badge of honor because that if if we can't provoke you into thinking or rethinking um your position then then number 1 it's not as fun. Number 2 what what change do we make if we just kept kept repeating talking points um, from from the party line or the status quo? And that's not what we're about. We are here to affect positive change through discourse, and that's what we do. I just visited the phone room. There is not anyone calling right this second. And that's something that uh, I'd like to change because when you open up the phone lines to have people come on the air and talk about issues of the day, people call, lots of people call. And so I want those people who call or are used to calling every week or every few weeks to, to surly voices, please call in now and make a donation. We're not asking that you make a $1,000 or a $10,000 donation, whatever you can afford. Maybe you can do a $50 donation or maybe you can join our circle of friends or our parallelogram. Oh, okay of enemies for five dollars a month everyone can do that right five dollars a month or maybe you're you're uh, have more means and you can do ten dollars or fifteen dollars a month but call now 813-239-9663 liz will be so pleased when we're able to thank that first donor for surly voices this morning please give us a call 813-239-9663 or donate on the web at wmnf.org i have another democracy now donation that came in right at the end of the show from anonymous fifty dollar contribution they say keep up the good work we need it all so we need Shows like Democracy Now, but we also need shows like Surly Voices to survive and thrive here at WMNF 813-239-9663. And we will absolutely appreciate everything you do. And um, like Sean said, it doesn't have to be a fortune. You can you can go on the uh, Circle of Friends, which will give you like, it's like layaway, except you get all this knowledge and get to use your stuff before they release it. And you can you can get into the Circle of Friends for as little as $5 a month. So it's... it's not um it's not inexpensive to run a radio station is it sure <laughs> yeah we have a, a a big budget but we have um you know we take care of the money we don't use it wastefully we have a, a pretty small staff. We're mostly run by volunteers and it's the volunteers that make almost all of the programming that comes to you, especially during, during the news and public affairs blocks. Um, all the shows that you love here um, I, are worth supporting. I'm especially looking right now for people to, who support the Surly Voices to give us a call right now. 813-239-9663. That's if you'd like to talk to one of our great phone bank volunteers. If you prefer to, uh, to do it on the without any kind of human interaction, you can go online at WMNF.org and just type in your name and information. It'll just take a few minutes. You can pick out your thank you gift and you'll be all set and you'll feel great knowing that you supported Surly Voices on WMNF. Here's the number again, 813-239-9663, or you can donate at WMNF.org. 
All right. And so um, I'll, I'll take you back to the uh, 4th of July show and um, hear a little bit more from that. There's always something that somebody can disagree with. So, so if you haven't found it yet, it's coming. <laughs> Trust me. So here we are. We're, you know, four years almost into the Biden presidency. Uh, We are eight years almost into uh, the burning of Bernie. And we are on the shores of this Tummet River and not necessarily avoiding speech, to quote T.S. Eliot from The Hollow Men. Now, I don't mean to be obtuse, but two years ago, we said this is a problem. Right. This guy yeah. has a problem. And we were loud about it. Uh, we actually went so far as to burn down several candidates locally who were a problem. Uh, right. Right. And we make no shame of it because that is how democracy works. So people wrote us a love letter last week. Um, and when I dig it up, I'm going to read it to you. They sent it to Sean and they basically scolded us for having the audacity to use our democracy the way it's intended to be uh, engaged, uh, which is to complain loudly when the people that you've given power to are not doing the thing. So that, again, was Donna. Um, we and and this this segment, I think, outlines perfectly why we need um places like WMNF so we can exercise our democratic rights to protest or just talk out issues that really need addressing and you can also not only you know listen to our show and and get into uh rumbles with uh with us you can also um listen to new music ideas and perspectives WMNF uh broadens horizons and celebrates our area's cultural diversity our programming is a window to the world introducing you to global sounds diverse viewpoints, and thought-provoking discussions. We're not just entertaining, we're expanding your cultural knowledge. Enrich your world by calling 813-239-9663 or by visiting WMNF.org. And any uh, regular listener to our show can tell you that uh, fundraising day is not my favorite time of day you know some people are just born fundraisers i am not alas although you know if you guys could like pour money into this uh program in the next uh 45 minutes that would be awesome and i would be forever grateful and i will give a shout out to every single one of you not only on the air but on our facebook page surly voices so uh we this letter was it kind of um, raised some interest. And so let me um, play the next clip and um, you'll get the commentary there. I've got this letter. It's out. Are y'all ready? Your negative commentary yes. about Joe Biden and the debate only will assure the dictator gets back into office. Hmm, that's a lot of power. The dictator is all in caps, too. Yes, the dictator is all in caps. Liz has her reference notes out. She has the notes out for reference. I'm doing looking. that from memory. Oh, I'm wow. not even looking at notes. We do. <laughs> do is in caps for some reason. Have a choice. Biden is not perfect, but are you? Um, no, yeah. Are you running for um, president? Yeah, not running. I'm not, trying to, I'm not running for leader of the free world. He has done right. much. That the Democrats have no way to effectively get the word out on his efforts and those of his party is indeed pitiful. How, why don't they have a way? We have, um, there's, there's several different right. effective apparatuses. Um, anyway, I'm sorry, I interrupted myself. Uh, I have a machine in my purse that will pull up all facts. All kinds in of the whole world. fangled gadgets. Yeah. Right? Like you just tap <laughs> into the news live. Like literally you can open that gadget up and see like the hurricane, like in action, like right. on the beach where it comes in. However, democracy is on the line and your commentary is not in the WMNF philosophy of protecting democracy. 
I got a lot to say that I'm keep going. This negativity is not helping. If you want a dictator in office, then keep up with this type of show. We are deeply disappointed. Furthermore, young people do not go to the polls in large numbers, so we should just forget about them and their futures. I got it. Uh, so they exactly. are they are the future, but we don't have to worry about their futures. I get it. Uh, but not saviors for the clear and present danger. So they're basically irrelevant because they're not voting. So right. We share your dismay that third party candidates are still not visible, but putting eggs in the Kennedy basket is just helping to get lowercase t, capital R, U-M-P, Trump, that's Mm -hmm. elected again, and that is the worst case scenario nightmare. All right. So, as you can see, we do not uh, have sacred cows. Everybody is game to criticism. Um, And... And even, you know, we will say some things and rethink our positions and come back and clarify that. It's it's like a, a running uh, conversation with your friends, you know, sitting around the whichever table you're sitting around and talking about the issues of the day. And, you know, talking to our um, listeners who often have things to say. I see Sean's back. Hi, Sean. Hi. And I think that people get a perspective sometimes that they're not used to hearing if they're just listening to um, some of the, you know, big corporate TV stations or something like that, or if they're kind of in their circle of friends and they have, uh, you know, the the conversations are just one-sided. They might hear a perspective on surly voices that they're not used to hearing, and sometimes it jars them, and sometimes it makes them write um, kind of mean letters. And sometimes, <laughs> you know, some, I think a lot of times people learn and they, they get, uh, they, they hear a perspective that they might not have been exposed to before. And they think, well, wait a second. Okay. I'm expanding my mind by listening to surly voices on WMNF. Awesome. Yeah. And, and it's, I mean, people who write these letters to Sean, it's like, we love getting the complaint letters because that that tells us that we have created a little bit of of discontent and you need to you know we we like to put the ideas out there and discuss them with people because we we're tired of the status quo the status quo has not worked for women and marginalized communities ever the only people that the status quo benefits is those that are aligned with the patriarchy. So yeah, we do we do talk about a lot of things that make people upset. Um, it's Donna! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I thought Donna was still in uh, Philadelphia. I here yesterday. I'm always here for the remember. Oh I'm my dear! It is so good to see you. Yes, I planned oh. it to surprise. You. And and we're all like friends in real life, so it's like that. This was a surprise, a, a very pleasant surprise, because I love me some Donna. And I love me some Liz. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so we, I've been playing clips, Donna, from from uh, primarily the the July Fourth show okay. um, so far. Um, I just saw a, a, a yellow sheet come in. That makes my heart happy. Yeah, I'll thank them whenever you're ready for me to do that. Go ahead on. Well, great. I, we are happy to have some people who have already donated now to Surly Voices in the last few minutes. I appreciate that. Here's a new member of the Parallelogram of Enemies. Yes, <laughs> yes. And that is Wendy Schultz from Seminole says, thanks for all the, the good karma. Thank you very much for that donation. I appreciate I'm glad that you're joining our sustaining membership. Also, Rose Timbrell from Lewisburg, Pennsylvania is donating $35. Here's what Rose has to say. I'm a longtime Circle of Friends member, but I want to add this donation to Surly Voices because it's a great show and we need more women's programming and more programming that thinks outside the box and questions the patriarchy. Keep up the fight. So yes, thank you for yes. that, Rose. Thank you so much. Here, sure. here. Great comments. And also, I'd like to thank Sarah Hawthorne. A Hathaway from Tampa with a $53.70 contribution says, Surly Voices was my first introduction to WMNF 
and the station has been a habit since then. I appreciate the hard work of all your volunteers and staff. I am a sustaining member, so this is extra help. So thank you to Sarah. So thank you for those thank first you, three donations that came in. And I also have some people who donated even before the show came on the air. Yay! So here are some people who donated early. Dory Brown from Largo has contributed $45. Thank you. And Dory is getting the WMNF license plate frame. And she says, thank you so much for the intelligent and thoughtful commentary on the issues of today. It helps me to know that I'm not alone in believing that there's always hope for a better future and that strong women are leading the way. So thanks to Dory from Largo for those comments. Also, we have a $37.70 contribution to the Surleys from uh, Joe Pansy's Panzisa from uh, New Hampshire. And I'm sorry, Joe, if I got your name wrong, but uh, but thanks so much for the one-time donation. I really appreciate that. And uh, he is supporting several different shows, including Surly Voices. So thanks for those donations. Now we need to Thank hear you. from you. 813-239-9663 or WMNF.org. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. It is it is just so nice to get support, especially like most of our folks don't start calling in until about now. So mm-hmm. we're like sitting in the in the donation desert and and it's really difficult for people who are type A personalities. So um, let's see. Let's talk about something. This is another thing, too. We're not. Well, I'm sure you've already picked up on this. We are not really serious, dour kind of folks. We are happy and playful and we we start getting to making each other laugh and it gets carried away <laughs> sometime donna what do you have to say how how's philadelphia how's everything going philadelphia has followed me here that's why i was late <laughs> 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 I mean, they just have their hooks in me it's you know i'll say this um the schools have been bad in philly for about you know 50 years and so people have a very difficult time focusing, following instructions, and it's been a very, very difficult and challenging uh, project. Um, and also, you know, there are swing states, so we're trying to get that taken care of. But I am here this morning uh, to remind you, it was important enough for me to fly down here to say to you, we would like to stay on the air, number one. Uh, number two, I think that we provide you guys with a generally high level of service. I mean, we all have our bad days. Yeah. Um, and we have been faithful, uh, and we're here every week uh, with few, few, with a rare exception. And WMNF is a community asset, right? We would think of it, just don't think of it just as entertainment. Think of it as something that enriches our community. Can you imagine a community with no art, no uh, local news and public affairs and entertainment, you know, all given to you by locals? This is something that's slowly dying in our society. We live in the era of the big box, right? We have big box news. We have big mm-hmm. box entertainment. There's just like Beyonce, Taylor Swift. That's it. Right, And here we are uh, promoting indie artists, uh, bringing them to town for your enjoyment, uh, giving you, getting down, getting granular with what's happening in the community, helping you keep your finger on the pulse of what's happening in your neighborhoods. That's what WMNF is. It is a rare and dying gift to communities that care enough to say, hey, here's my monthly coffee. Right? I'm going to give you, well, I was used to be $3, but $7 a day. $7 a day to say that I want my community to be enriched in this specific way. And I'm going to have fun doing it. Awesome. Sean, what's the, what's going on down on your end of yeah, the table? We just got in some new donations. So I want to thank Ted Morris from Newport Ritchie. And Ted is donating $25. Says, I I truly love all things WMNF. Surly Voices is a weekly must for me. Oh, as it should you, be for Ted. everyone in the com, com, in the community. I appreciate everything you do as hosts of the show and help the rest of us stay informed. Your loyal listener, Ted, in Elfers. Thank, thank you for you, that Ted. donation. Also, we have uh, this one from Joe from Venice, Florida. 
and oh, he's wow. contributing fifty dollars and is get he says keep up the good work and he's getting a WMNF license plate frame and that's available to people for a forty five dollar or more donation by calling eight one three two three nine nine six six three. You can also look at all the great thank you gifts we have to offer if you go to WMNF.org. You can see them there and you can make your donation or if you'd like to c- talk to one of our great phone bank volunteers, you can call 813-239-9663. Awesome. Thanks, Sean. And thank you all for donating. Um, I have a clip here that that features Amina, um, who uh, has taken, an, and like I said, we all work. We all have jobs. And Amina took a job that, that has no availability for her to be on the show every Thursday, except for the 4th of July episode. So I want to play that. And here we go. Our Civil Trump disobedience is encouraged. It is our duty to yes. do that, right? Okay, so what's in the letter? Yes. What did, what, what the letter. I'm getting to the letter. That intro was... Yes. In the meantime, Amina, uh, before we get to the letter, tell mm. us what you thought of the debate. Let's just get some spiciness <laughs> going here. You know I'm not going to be spicy. <laughs> my mom texted me. Spicy. My mom texted me something like... Uh, it was a question, but it was it said everything to me. I thought it was very funny. She said, "Is your Bosnian passport still valid?" Oh boy! <laughs> they came. Um, so I know I know people are saying Biden did poorly. Mm-hmm. Um, so yes, he was sick. His presentation was terrible, but I think his answers there they were not perfect. But he had at least some facts to them. <laughs> he did. He did. I didn't I'll, think well, they were the worst I'll, thing in the world. I'll okay? grant that. I'll grant like that. Like, he was ready to answer all of them um, with, with, it seemed like there was some preparation there. Trump, on the other hand, I've, like, at one point, he said some states allow murder for babies. Abortion, after they're abor- born. Abortion <laughs> after birth. I'm like, what the hell is he saying? Like, there is no sentence. It's nonsensical. The numbers he was throwing around. Wild. It was the wild, and people are like, Trump crushed it. I'm like, what are you talking about? Well, you know what? But let's let's back that up. I don't think anyone's was listening. He did crush it in the context of where most American people sit. And that, again, is Donna and Amina on the front end. Amina is actually a refugee from Bosnia. And um, so she brings a, a perspective that none of us have. She's a lot younger than Donna and I are. And strangely enough, she's the most conservative of us because Donna and I will basically say anything. I think it has to do with the fact that she's a comms person. And so comms people are always looking for what's factual. Uh, and what gives a statement a good spin. And so uh, she listens and she hears different things than we hear. She's listening for different reasons, I think. That's a good point, mm-hmm. yeah. Because we just, we we fly far and fast yes. with the facts. Well, no, we're we're pretty factual. I would, I would give our, ourselves a 95% factual accuracy rate mm-hmm, mm-hmm. when we do not... Um, get the facts right, then our listeners hold us accountable and we're like, oops, you know, our Yeah, bad. they certainly do. Yeah. Smart people out there. Um, I have got some yellow sheets now from Amo Molinero from Tampa, $10. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Um, from Sharon Almerigi, and I'm sorry that I'm uh, mispronouncing these names so terribly, but... <laughs> um, um, Sharon from Abilene, Texas, uh, $50. And she's going to get the uh, pickup boy Johnny Mayhem a request today on the next show. Um, and then we have Carol Fields from Lake Placid, who's donating $120. Thank you so much, Carol. Um, they keep up the good work and thank you for directing us. And she's going to get the 45 years magnet. And there's all kinds of thank you gifts in, in the WMNF world. And, um, again, we, we thank you from the bottom of my, our hearts, no matter how much your donation is, um, because we depend on the interaction with our surly audience who does get rather surly at times. I'm going to play a clip from another show. This was the show right after 
um, right after Trump's alleged att- assassination attempt. So here we go on that one. Big news week, eh, since we were here last? <laughs> Some wild stuff going on out here. Not necessarily happy stuff, right? Like it's a it's a sad scene, but you know, you know us, there's still humor to be had in the midst. Of course. And the meme the meme gods are giving and giving and giving because <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Um, As I'm sure everybody out there knows, uh, there was an assassination attempt on Trump last week. Um, His ear got nicked, um, and now he's walking around wearing a maxi pad on one side, (laughs) like Vincent Van Gogh. (laughs) And so are his fans. it's It's a fashion statement now. People are putting on the mini maxis. Uh, to show that they stand with the uh, 34 time uh, felon. So that little innocuous statement drew the ire of uh, some of our male listeners. Um, it it was actually quite funny because when when you hear the next clip, you'll see what I'm talking about. Another thing is we. You know, we will say anything we can possibly say as long as it's within the bounds of the seven rules uh, thing. So well, you'll hear words out of us that you aren't won't hear out of anybody else because we are, um, like I said, we're very irreverent and we like to um, push the envelope whenever possible. And so um, this this next clip is from a call the caller who set off the male outrage at uh, calling Trump's bandage a maxi pad. So here we go. The comment about the uh, dressing that he has on his wound, Trump does. Yeah, that was a low blow. That really was. That was a low blow. Uh, I didn't like that at all. Uh, all right, ladies, have a nice. Was day. it a low blow because uh, we compared it to a maxi pad or what? Yeah. Okay. You're well, almost that's... calling him a pussy. <laughs> no. Wow. No. Sure, of course it is. Um, I'm not offended by people being offended, right? Yeah. Like you don't. I mean, we. All, you're a nurse, so right? you know how a dressing looks. They even have right. dress. They have dress. They call it second skins, and so it doesn't. And that thing was so loosely. It was so loosely attached, and I also have a healthcare background as well. It was so loosely attached as to be nothing but apply for visibility. Yes, apply for visibility. exactly. And so, because we are healthcare individuals, you know, and we know this, then it's clear that that was. I mean, and I'm not going to fault him for playing up, you know, his uh, minor injury. He could have been killed. I'm glad he wasn't. Right. I don't think that mass shootings with any victims right. are a good thing. And this was clearly a mass shooting with an intended victim. People died. Yep. But the maxi pad is funny. And I'm going to stand in to that. And I think maybe <laughs> the women would appreciate it more because it never occurred to me to equate saying that him having a maxi pad on his ear is calling him a pussy. Absolutely not. That's yeah. That came out of left field. Now, as entertaining as that little clip was, Donna dropped in a term, mass shooting, that raised the ire of another dude who wrote in and, um, or no, he called in and said, we were misleading people because we're talking about mass shooting. And this is another thing that I love about our listeners is they were emailing us and calling in and correcting this guy who was criticizing us because turns out Donna was correct in using the term mass shooting. Um, so yeah, it, it's, it's just a, a good, this show is a good example of how Little words will get the the attention of somebody who will then call in, and then it's everybody gets to participate in in the melee that ensues. Although it's not really all that exciting, but <laughs> um, then the all right. So this so after we got tons of emails and messages from men complaining about uh, us calling. 
Trump's uh, ear bandage a maxi pad, um, and and according to some, in, implying that he was a pussy. Um, then the women took to the air and and um, struck back. So let's hear that little clip. Hi, Sierra. Hello, surly voices. Thank you for your beautiful voices. Um, I wanted to take a moment, first of all, uh, to speak out against uh, almost all of your mail your mail <laughs> callers this morning. Um, first of all, uh, calling anything a pussy is calling something the strongest thing that was ever invented on the planet Earth. Um, so it's not an insult to be called a pussy, actually. Um, right. In my it's, a, it's a great um, compliment. but It's a great compliment, so you can let that uh, little comment go, sir. Um, number two, mass shooting. There were four victims, uh, President Trump, the man who was killed, and the two other victims that were in the hospital. So there were four victims, and not to mention the massive uh, <laughs> effect that it will have on every single person in that crowd. For the first, uh, in my lifetime, since President Reagan, the, the most, I mean, unbelievable uh, failure of the Secret Service. Yeah. I can tell you, as a registered Democrat and someone who would never vote for a a Republican ever, um, I hate Trump, and I would never wish death on anyone ever. Um, Just because I hate Trump and his policies and everything he stands for doesn't mean I wish him dead. Doesn't mean that any other Democrat who is speaking out, specifically our president, who, by the way, was very eloquent in everything he said in his State of the Union after President Trump got shot, I think what he did was reaching across the aisle for unity, running a a former president. I'm like, what's going on in the Secret Service? Like, this is not, this isn't a win on any side. And anybody who thinks that way needs to erase that from their brain. All right. Um, Violence is not the answer ever. We need to figure out how to come together as a nation how to solve these problems and resolve these issues. So thank you for your surly voices, and I'm going to add to my surly voice. And all y'all men need to sit down for a second and recognize (laughs) that a pussy is a powerful thing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. And so, yeah, I don't remember hearing from Sierra before this time, but it it was absolutely spot on. We do have regular listeners who... um, who contribute to the show both in commentary and and sometimes they come in as guests and I have a yellow sheet from one of those and it's Jiminy and do Hey Jiminy uh hey, Jiminy girl, hey. Jiminy has uh donated eight dollars and eighty five cents and <coughs> excuse me Jiminy is like our our guest star um, sometimes because she represents a a generational difference from from all of us. She's Amina is a, a millennial. Uh, Jiminy is Gen Z, um, and so she brings a whole new perspective to to the conversation, and and we love talking to her. And um, we thank you, Jiminy, for your donation and for and for participating in the conversation. It is so important to get folks involved, engaged, because if you if you treat the world around you like it, nothing will ever change, then guess what? Nothing will ever change. Donna. Well, we are right now at and thank you. That eight eighty five was cute, Jiminy. Uh, and I'm glad you had time for us today and a, a cup of coffee for us today because that's about <laughs> how much it cost us. We've raised $491.40. Awesome. Uh, we would like to get to $908.60. And so we would love it if a few more of you would call and demonstrate your material support for the community asset that is WMNF.org, one of the last remaining uh, community radio shows in the country, in a country where big boxes rule the day, uh, where the Supreme Court, in my opinion, is stacked against the people, uh, yeah. uh, where we are uh, 
I got an email this morning from the Harris Waltz campaign that we're in a dead heat uh, with uh, Trump leading in Pennsylvania, where I'm working. Oh, and so these are the reasons that we need to have unbiased news coming from people you know and trust in your community. Uh, public affairs opinion shows like ours, um, not only are they entertaining, we also provide you with facts. You know, if, if someone calls in and says, hey, you know, I don't think you got the facts right, then we go back to the drawing board. Mm -hmm. So we're growing, we're learning, we're hoping that we're teaching uh, and providing a service to the community. We would love it so much if you guys would support us with a small donation or a large donation. You know, it, it, to, to us, most of the donations that we receive during these drives are small. But they add up to be the support we need right. to stay on the airwaves and to stay an independent community-based uh, radio resource. And and that's a good point. We most of our support comes from individuals who are scraping by or giving up, making an actual sacrifice. We we haven't had any corporate fat cats come and donate to us, but. <laughs> <laughs> and do we want them though? Because they, they come well, with their that, commands yeah. and demands, and That's exactly then the underwriters right. and all that stuff get involved, and it gets weird. Yeah. So um, we like having the freedom and the grassroots uh, donors, and you can tell who the fundraiser in this room is because of the way she fundraises so well, Miss Donna. Um, I just <laughs> I'm too oh. old of a dog to learn that new trick. So. Um, yeah, you're a younger dog. Than I'm I just am. over here reading the stuff. Again. Not really. <laughs> they don't actually give us stuff to read, y'all. <laughs> we always make everything into a joke, right? <laughs> well, it's like in times like, I mean, think of the trauma that we've been through since at least 2020, but farther back than that. You know, yeah, 9 11, you know, yeah. this era kicked off. I mean, you could tell that what type of era we were going into right. with the hanging chads, uh, and then uh, 9/11 uh, followed uh, shortly thereafter. Uh, showed us where what the trajectory would be for this 21st century, and here we are. And so it's that I keep connecting what's happening on the political front. And keep in mind that, that our opinions are not the opinions of WMNF.org. We know that we have a diversity of political opinions amongst our listeners. We want to uh, respect that by not claiming and saying we are our when we're talking. If we do that, please know that <laughs> we're constantly being chastised about that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Sean does not like it. Randy doesn't like it. And so we <laughs> offer the surly disclaimer uh, to separate the opinions of this particular show from uh, WMNF, the institution, but we would love it, you guys. Our, our phones aren't ringing. We would love it if you would call in uh, and provide us with some material support so that we can continue with this show and continue to be able to do the work that we do for you. Oh, Sean blasts over messages in real time, honey. He's like, you can't say that. You can't say that. <laughs> Yeah. And then there, when people do call in and they say expletives that are not allowed uh, by the Communications Commission, uh, we have to press what we call a dump button. And man, I, I think that the Surly Feminist show, the Surly Voices show gets probably more use oh, yeah. of the dump button than, than any other show. I mean, I could be wrong. I No, I, I have to think that that's the case. We're going to have to look up the stats after this because it's, I mean... I'm sitting on that thing 24-7 while I'm here because you never know when something's going to come out. And sometimes I, I, I miss the occasional one, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a thrill ride every time. <laughs> and you know what? You know, when I first came to the radio station, it was at the zenith of the Black Lives Matter movement. And I was unsure of the type of environment I was in. And I could tell you that over the years, you know, there's been some leadership changes, of course, that have aided this uh, sh shift uh, in my mind. But I, I certainly have come to see from, with my own eyes uh, what this community means. And I'll tell you a little story. Uh, for the longest time, I wasn't able, because I travel so much and I work out of the state so often, I wasn't able to volunteer. 
And so finally, you know, Miss Julie harassed and harangued <laughs> until, Miss Julie, I hope you're listening, <laughs> until I said, okay, let me pull my weight around here and put more volunteer hours than just the fun ones on the air. So I started to work in the um, phone room. Uh, I did the training and I started working in the phone room. Now, aside from the fact that I break an Apple product, uh, every time I <laughs> touch come, it, <laughs> yes, come to the fun drive. Last October, it was my Mac, <laughs> and then uh, the last time I was here this spring, it was my. Uh, I dropped my phone. I just got it fixed this weekend, and boy, what a ride that was in the Philly store downtown. Oh, Lord. <laughs> but the point the point of this story is that I'm off. You know, being long winded about is that the in that WMNF newsroom, I made friends with people across generational, across ethnic, racial lines. I made friends with unlikely people. Um, I had conversations that, I'm not gonna get emotional. <laughs> I had conversations I will never forget. I've, I've had uh, watershed conversations uh, with people that if I were not a volunteer at WMNF, I never would have had. And so when you come into the WMNF family, even if it's just you come down to take calls, the food is great during these mm-hmm. drives because oh, yes. they bring uh, all these Ellas, you know, uh, Rip Ellas, right? It's going out of business. But Ellas, uh, that uh, the, uh, the beautiful jerk place, jerk hut, you know, all of these, I can't name them all, but I'm sure they talk about them as we go along. All of these wonderful community partners come in and provide delicious food, full meals for our uh, volunteers during the drives. And at the last one, we took pictures. Uh, and I look at those pictures this morning and I'm like, wow, man, this is something that I could never have predicted for my own life. And I'd like for you to have beyond just giving us $10 or $100 or joining the circle of friends. We love that. But beyond that, would you guys just, if you're able to, I know, Jiminy, I know you're in Jacksonville um, and some of you are in, you know, in, in Sarasota. But for those of you who are local, come down here and volunteer. Have the courage to talk to the people sitting next to you or standing next to you when you volunteer. I promise you, you will develop relationships. This could be a cure for some people who live alone. Oh, you know? yeah. yeah. Come down here. It's like the slow checkout they're doing in foreign countries. Right. Yeah. I saw they were doing that, that in the Netherlands. Yeah. Right. So come and enjoy our version of the slow checkout. Slow checkout. Yeah. People are here all day. I can't leave. I come in. I say, I'm going to work this shift from. Yeah, she stays here like for days. <laughs> 11 o'clock. I leave at 3 in the morning when it's clear that there's nothing else. You know. I can't tolerate that much people. But it's just, but it's so slow. It's like there's not a lot. There's like six or seven people in the room, maybe sometimes three or four. And you're just sitting there and you're going to get into these conversations yes. with these folks. And they should they could be transformation, transformational. You should tape the next little round table that they have. Yeah. And we can play that during the next fundraiser. Yeah, we should get yeah. clips from the Surly Volunteers. Exactly. Yeah. But you guys, it's a beautiful place to be and it's a beautiful thing to support. So if you could give us a call, um, the number is uh, 813-239-9663. Oh, that's for the studio. Number. That's, no, that's, that's the number. The number. Okay. Call us, drop us some coins so that we can keep doing this work for you. Chang, chang. I was just in the phone bank volunteer room and I saw the great volunteers in there yeah. working away and chatting away. And it was great. There were two people on the line taking donations. I see one still on the line. So maybe there's a donation card coming in soon, I hope. But the, the, the important thing is right now to, to be part of this community. And if you can come down and volunteer, as Donna was suggesting, that would be wonderful. Talk to Miss Julie. If you can't volunteer, if you might not have time, but you can make a donation, maybe a $100 donation or $10 a month or $5 a month, that would be great to support this station in any way you can. So we do want to hear from you right now. Here's the number to call to talk to one of those great volunteers, 813 813- Two three nine nine six six three. If you're listening on the WMNF Community Radio app, you can make a donation there or on WMNF.org. That's the. Oh, we just got one of those donations in. I. 
don't have my glasses handy. Let me get ready. Sorry about all this. <laughs> and so we have, um, oh, Tina Henneyes from Brooksville is contributing Hi. 50. Yeah, Thanks, from Tina. crazy ass Brooksville. <laughs> yes. She says, you guys are important voices and now I love you. So Aww. that's that's a very Aww, sweet thank you, Tina. donation. Thank you, Tina Henneyes. Thank you, Tina. That's what she always says. Hey, it's Tina from crazy ass Brooksville. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. I forgot about that. So, so Donna, since you're in Philadelphia, are you going to be attending the debate? I try to avoid that. You yeah. know, I've gotten so many tickets. Every time you stop your car in Philly, they give you a ticket. So I park this BMW X5 that I've rented, and I just take the lift, and I'm sitting in people's lifts that smell like marijuana while the BMW X5 is just parked because <laughs> I cannot stand it. So I probably will not be going to the debate unless they let me come alone and tell everybody else to stay home. <laughs> Well, because I was thinking if if you're going to attend or or watch the debate um, from from the comfort of your Airbnb, we could maybe do a live stream commentary. Um, that's that's something. Keep an eye out on our Surly Voices page because I we tried it last time around and there wasn't great participation. But maybe if we do it on a Zoom platform, we may have better uh, success at that. So um, we're always trying to figure out new ways to to reach folks and to uh, get them to participate. So um, that's. That's just who we are and what we do. And we could really appreciate your support. Um, your donations keep the lights on here at WMNF and give us a platform to be disrespectful and to challenge the, the status quo and to overthrow the patriarchy. And we will appreciate anything you can give us. Please call 813 239 Nine six six three, or you can visit wmnf.org. You can hit the tip jar on the um, on the website too. So um, we appreciate everything that you guys give us monetarily, thoughtfully, um, argumentatively. So we are are open to everything that you can possibly manifest our way, um, Donna. I'll throw it back to my my expert fundraising friend over here. So <clears throat> when we sit around, you know, as uh, politicos, amateur uh, politicos, we say things like, you know, man, it, you know, it, we really are losing, you know, our country. And it doesn't matter which side you sit on. I think that if you're looking out you know, if, if you have an aerial view or you're looking at you're looking and saying, hey, listen, what's what's going on in the United States? We had a, a school shooting um, yesterday. Oh, God. Yes. Um, in Georgia. And these things happen almost every day. <clears throat> they just don't get reported every day. Right. I think that uh, since we have someone in Georgia who is an avid supporter, um, uh, where's the uh, AR-15 uh, Philip Helpin? I think that because of that, uh, that's probably why we heard about that shooting. But mm. I will say this. Uh, these times require us to be increasingly more vigilant and more informed. Uh, and that is the work that we do here uh, at WMNF. Uh, it is a labor of love for most of your programmers. Um, if you're not giving to Surly Feminist, we want you to give to Surly Feminist. Don't get me wrong. Please, if you're, and you're listening to us and you're like, oh, I got so many dollars to give. You know, well, just give us half of it and give the other show that you like. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. We're not, we're not greedy. <laughs> we're not going to be greedy. <laughs> but please make sure you give. And if you can't give and you have, you have time, we would like to have some of your time as well. But right now, today, we're focusing on, we have the power, people have the power bumper sticker. It's new. It's, uh, it's, it's colorful. It's like a, a turquoise color. People have the power in yellow. And then, uh, the V is a check in a box because it's that time of year again. It sure is. And we also have uh, a car flag uh, that says people have the power and then has three uh, fists of various complexions uh, held in the air with a WMNF banner across it. There is a WMNF pen, a WMNF mini fan. Uh, there is a metal water bottle. No, it looks like it's a metal top, but there's a water bottle. I'm sure it's no BPAs. 
Uh, there is an emergency crank radio because we live in Florida and we never know what's going to happen. I know. That's the most attractive thing to me on that list. So. And we're running out of time, <laughs> but you guys, even though you can use our tip jar um, on the website, you can continue to call in if you're driving, you're working right now, you can't. Please, you can still continue to give. This drive is going on for several more days until next Tuesday, I think. Uh, so you do still have the opportunity to donate to your favorite show, Surly Voices. All WMNF. right. And I have a donation in my hand from Kirk Sink in St. Petersburg. $100. He says, keep up the good work. Keep going. Thank you so much, Kirk. We very much appreciate you. And so um, Sean's looking at me. He's fixing to give me the finger because it's we've, we're getting into the one minute left. Um, don't stop donating, though, because they're still taking your donations. We have volunteers ready to take your call and, and take your money. Um, the website is where you can go also if uh, if you don't get around till it till next week. So we appreciate everything that you do for us and we appreciate WMNF for giving us this spot. Donna, I'll let you say the last few words and then we will go on to the next show. Well, this is more than anything. It is about love. Um, it is about love for your community. It is about love for the things that keep us whole. WMNF is one of those things. We love you. You could give us some love back in the form of some material support. And of course, always keep listening. And if you have an opportunity, come and volunteer. Yeah. And stay tuned on uh, WMNF for economic update. And um, you've been listening to Surly Voices on WMNF Tampa 88.5. Love y'all. Support from the 